Hello, good morning everybody. I want to show you a Premier Dominion Super Snare Drum, late 30s. I uh, got it for my father. He had it for about 20 years. And now I have it for myself. I don't know much about this drum because there's not much to read about it but I think this Dominion Super is modified because you can see here the Premier stamp that's not normal and you can see on the other side There's a number, I suppose there was the strainer for the snare above, but that's gone. You can see on the inside, it was a white drum I think, in the inside, it's a uh, brass overgrown. You can still see the brass inside and the chrome exterior. Here can you see it's Premier, British made. And here can you see on the rim it's Dominion Super. This is the tone control. And in the inside you see one beam. from the strainer and the other side the lever is gone I miss it that's a pity it is in a good condition it's nice, it's clean it's shining and it sounds great it had a loud attack depends maybe which skin you have and which wire you use but I have not many wires the skin is an Hayes 300 Evans in a Remo Ambassador coated 10 ply skin and I want to show you how it sounds I have no snare stand, so I give it a try on my knees to show we oh, it's heavy how it sounds. It's incredible. Now without sound control was on, now it's off. Looks how it sounds. It sounds incredible. I just love it. Only the difficulty is the strings. I have a rope attached and that's not easy. When I release the strainer, it still keeps the snare on. So I don't now not know how to adjust that in any other way. But that's a matter. Maybe you want to tell me more about this drum. Maybe you know what's worth. I know it's rare. And that's why I made this video to show you 
this incredible drum from about 80 years old and still rocks. So thank you, goodbye.